ஒருத்தர்ஸ் <laughs> Yes, I have added. You have added, added, right? Yes, so that is the reason you are getting two because of the dimension that is present in there. Yeah, but you know, uh, client wanted to see only when <coughs> this category was expanded. So only this is fine. Only when, when the category got expanded, he yeah. want don't want to see it normally, but yes, he want no. to see it only when the category got expanded. He is having expanded. two. Yes. So you are having two totals in here, and yeah. uh, he didn't want to see it. If I remove subtotals, then uh, uh, we won't be able to see this. I um, mean, uh, multiple times. But when we expand, I mean, we are not able to see that subtotals. If I remove uh, subtotals, see from, from that here. dynamically showing and not showing subtotals is uh, not what uh, Tableau doesn't give us. Didn't give us any. What do you say? option regarding that uh, totals but here when you expand it you need the totals yes when you didn't you don't want to see the totals uh okay can you remove these totals once subtotals Now expand. Yeah, this is the way they wanted to see. Yeah, yeah. Now expand. But sub uh, sub totals was gone. Yeah. Now they want sub totals and totals. Can you come down? Okay, you are only showing that dimension. Not ah, uh-huh, you are showing other dimensions as well. Yeah. and here also you don't want to see these totals um so there is another way where you can do that but it is again complicated like for the number of set you need to put another sheet it will expand it will show you again that will not be a proper Thing. so to show the totals only uh, even i just check in that at the community but uh, no there is so, that is what see the others we have some option but totals is very static grand totals in here is very yeah. static uh in a way right click on that measure that you are showing there right click on in the measure measure values right right click on that sum this year not there not there in the measure value shelf okay uh totals using right yes you have an option to hide there go and check if it is go and see that hide okay now uh put grand totals Yeah, I already 
ोटल So having exhibitor status there is going to screw up the uh, totals. But uh, yeah, coming to your totals and grand totals problem. Hmm. So uh, for grand total details, we can uh, we can take separate sheet. But uh, the thing is, only we wanted to see our uh, subtotals when we expand this. So my point is here. Uh huh. like the solution that i have is going to be very complicated like uh, putting those sheets and all and it is going to get way too complicated where what i'm seeing is for every sheet below that you will put another sheet which will activate only when set actions in the set actions when you click on did not return right so we'll write if that set then only those values else null so otherwise the sheet yes. is suppressed yes now when someone clicks there the existing grand total will be there in that sheet you'll have another grand total okay so, so we want will... to take uh, uh, grand total for another sheet um, no see don't put totals in here right okay. if you don't put the totals it is regular totals but for uh-huh. every did not return right put below that yes. now it will be a hell lot of sheets that is why i'm a bit okay. hesitant to give you a solution but see here for a did not return there will be two sheets okay. in general it will be showing you the total values now remove those totals remove those total zones in the analysis all total don't show any totals yeah all totals ha huh. now keep it this way now here if you are seeing when you when you uh keep it will be did not res- did not return is one sheet and all these are single sheets okay okay are they okay if they this when you click on did not return it will open somewhere this grand total the subtotals will open somewhere in the down are they okay with that yeah yeah it is up and down then do one thing right then that do doesn't one. matter but then they do want to see then do one thing. whenever they click on did not return below all but, these rows right there will be one more sheet which will show the ha uh, when that expansion here it will be showing the total the expansion it will be showing in the below okay right now write your calculation write the calculation what is your set bring that set and give it a status set yeah if set if whatever the set that you have written if set uh-huh. then uh your dimension the second dimension exhibitor yeah exhibitor and okay apply okay now in a new sheet take this and in that sheet put this and make sure that your parameter actions right your parameter actions will nullify this sheet when you are not selecting in your primary sheet okay by that you can show them in another sheet there you can show all the grand totals for them what my point when i expect uh, i didn't get you raj sir uh okay uh, let me share this. 
Now here I am having category and sales. Right? Now what you want is here when I click on this furniture you should see something in here. So I am creating a category create set. This is category set. I am just selecting anything and then I am writing my calculation. If Category set. Okay. I'm opening another set here. And exclude none. Okay. Then I'm again doing sales. Now I'm going into a dashboard, bringing this here. Okay. Not floating, not floating. Bringing this in here and bringing this in here. Now I'm going into dashboard. Now in this, let me take totals. Show column that totals. Right. Now, uh, okay. doesn't matter what I'm doing. In here, I'm going and taking for actions, add action, change parameter. Sheet six, six category, category. I'm oh, sorry, I should have taken set action right. Sheet six target set is category set. Remove values. Okay. Now, when I click on furniture, now this is my table. Right now, below you will see that all of them along with the yes will this help i need to check with them uh, yeah show them this solution and start first tell them the uh, shortcoming with these two terms and show them this solution yeah sure yes. okay yeah that's a good thing yeah okay thank you so much thank you